Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This vlog might not be as epic as the last ones, but I want to stay authentic in my vlog life. Even though they just look like early morning meditations, work in the gardens and in nature. So this vlog might be more peaceful, more calm, so sit back with a cup of coffee or tea and enjoy. Here on Ajuna's Palm in Villa Franca de Gira, close to Lisbon, we started every single day meditating to the rising sun, followed by a breakfast underneath that beautiful big tree. After that we would start with working. Here we built a platform that you could see already in the morning meditation. Okay, so we make it like an Was was oben zeichen? Ich weiß noch nicht. Ich glaube, es kompliziert. Ja. for you just in case no one gave you flowers lately or you couldn't take some it's probably just weeds but I wanted to show you how beautiful they bloom such a beautiful yellow and they say when you feel sad or you have dark times you should put something yellow next to you eat yellow fruits have yellow flowers I really feel like these are a little sunshine After cleaning the area for using the swing properly, we really deserved a fresh smoothie. And that was a daily highlight here to get fresh pressed smoothies every single day.
As soon as the platform dried, we could also use it not only for meditation, also for yoga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you're so happy. <laughs> How do you feel like getting the burger on your Friendly. last day? <laughs> I feel like a uh, kid in in a, in a candy store. <laughs> yeah. You look like a child as well because <laughs> <laughs> you're so small. Oh, One more time, please. On Milo's last day, we drove together to Lisbon to get to see something from the city, as we just lived in the little village before that. We went onto a flea market, and I bought a ring that symbolizes my future spirit animal, as you can maybe remember from the last vlog. Einfach mal schöner laufen. Walk more beautiful. We walked through the whole city, went to a hidden Chinese restaurant where you had to knock on the door to get in. As much as it was exciting to be in the city, it was also draining, really loud and full of people, and I couldn't wait to be back in peaceful nature. And then there was a one-day yoga retreat happening on the property with pilates, a vegan menu, silent walk, yoga, meditation. But I asked him that if he, if he doesn't mind to cook the lunch for us in order that you also can appreciate his food. And he said, yes, I wow. want <laughs> Of course. and relax. Um, awareness about the place you are. Oh, exhale. 
knees on the floor, chest and forehead. Seven, inhale, cobra. Eight, exhale, inverted V. Look on your feet. On nine, inhale, right leg forward, left knee on the floor. On ten, the other leg forward, inhale, stretch up. On ten, exhale, inverted V. On ten, exhale. I don't know if you can see this, but there are all these thorns, super thick. You can get them all off. This will be a hell of a work. Look at these thorns. Blackberries. After Milo and Christoph left, there were new roofers. And at first I had a hard time to get used to new people. A new workflow but I have to say I became friends with these new ones really quickly and I enjoyed working with them oh, please don't go oh my hand I'm taking a picture oh shit This is how it looks right now. I don't know if you remember how it looked like before here. Just a small way. And now you can walk all the way down here. <laughs> okay, we heard something. It sounded like a white boar. How did it sound like again? <laughs> so now you're a bit scared. As soon as you see that, we are sorry. We are scared. We would continue working, but we are scared. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Silas, what is your job? What's my job? Yeah. Oh, just laying down the stone. Masonry <laughs> work. <laughs> wow. That's really nice. And one day, I heard the screams. I heard the cry. And I searched for the animal where it came from. And that's where I found yeah, I this little baby on the property. Yeah. Lost and crying a lot. Lucas helped me to catch her as it was not safe for her to be free on the property because of the dogs. And luckily Ruben had some cat food left that we could feed her. She was so scared at the beginning and I felt so bad to leave her outside alone. She shaked a lot, but at least she ate and drank something. The more she stayed with us, the more she felt safe, and that melted my heart. She brought so much joy, and even though we let her free, she decided to stay. And because she enjoyed the olive trees here, I decided we should call her Olive. What do you want to tell all these people? Hmm? Sorry guys, she's turning her back to you. She doesn't want to talk to you right now. She's a big girl now. So we all know how they are. Three days mostly looked like staying on the property and just resting our bodies. But on this day there was a medieval market in Villafranca, so we went down to enjoy that.
So Ashley and I are on the garden. We have to weed a bit because it was raining. So everything grew really fast. <laughs> Look at those plants in the back. We planted them a few weeks ago and they're already so big. So doing some weeding first and then we've got some lettuce and some beetroot and basil and other herbs. That's the job for today. You guys know what this is? Look the yellow flowers. It's watermelon. This one is already pretty big. Like maybe the size of my hand. It's gonna be ready in the next month. And, oh, it's so nice to see all these vegetables growing. Should we take it? Yeah, I think so. It's so huge. Well, we've got some coffee and also collected eggshells which are in here so we use that to surround the plants with it first really good for growing and also it um, keeps away the snails i didn't know that did you know that snails yeah that eggshells keep it away oh that's good so we surround the plants with that now <laughs> gardening has something meditative you connect not only to nature but also to yourself. And how beautiful is it to share that with your friend? Ashley and I had so many deep talks here. Really stringy things. <laughs> I always feel like back there, it kind of looks like there would be an ocean. Yeah, at night time, it really looks like Wellington. Let's just pretend this is New uh, Zealand over there. The ocean in the back. This place had the ocean just down there. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Wild woman in the garden, soil and coffee on her skin. It's just like I have so much coffee on my hands, so why not putting a coffee mask? Now I'm one with nature. <laughs> How's it going? Good, 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 good. And like the platforms grew here also, our group grew a lot. In between we were up to seven woofers here, helping on the property, eating together, practicing yoga together, and enjoying our free time. <laughs> it's called Go Park. One night Silas played guitar and Ruben did some beatboxing. I'm in the kitchen now and I will start preparing some cinnamon rolls for tonight as I'm not the best one in cooking. I don't really like cooking for some reason. But I love baking, so I feel like for contributing to the people, the land here, to Ajuna especially because he provides such a beautiful space and there's so much nice food here. So I feel like I really want to treat us and yeah, make a little something special. <laughs> Just gonna take you with me how to make the most yummiest cinnamon rolls. Right now I'm inside because outside it's pretty hot, um, but we have an outdoor kitchen so I might go outside to bake them in the old oven, but we will see how it goes. So let's start. So we need milk, butter, yeast, we have flour here, sugar, vanilla sugar and a little bit of salt.
So I melted the butter in the milk and it should be warm or hot. I accidentally made it too hot so I had to wait a little bit. Uh, we're gonna add this now to the flour and stuff and the yeast so it can grow. Let it rest for a bit and yeah, then continue. Anyway, but we will see how it turns out also with this oven. It's the first time cooking without any crazy tools, more than tools, and yeah, we'll see. But it's fun though. for my YouTube and I always thought I should film the mm -hmm. baking process because that's the thing I, I really so enjoy doing. Do you have a video for this now on YouTube? Not yet but I will. <laughs> okay. I will put Please it on your channel I'll subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you a lot for being here for watching this quite different video from the rest but I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did please leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. See you soon. Bye.